Now for this video, I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison review of four popular beach cabanas. But to do it, I had to shell out some cash. So I spent 89 bucks on this Easy Fast Cabana. I paid 98 bucks for this Easy Go Beach Cabana. Well, I actually bought two Easy Go Beach Cabanas, which I'll show you why in just a little bit. I paid 100 bucks for this Quippy or Kippy Beach Cabana. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, so I'm just going to pretend there's a U after the Q and call it quippy and i bought this medium cool cabana on sale for 139 bucks which all adds up to a grand total of 524 dollars so yeah i'm pretty much broke but now you'll know exactly what to expect before you hit the beach with any one of these beach cabanas hello my fellow beach gear head friend it's your bob ross watching beach gear reviewer Betty C. What do you say we get this Beach Cabana party rolling by setting up the Easy Fast Cabana first? Because this is actually my first time setting it up. You know I usually fly solo when I set up beach gear, but it would be helpful if I had a beach buddy helping me expand this frame. Securing the canopy top to the frame would also go a little bit faster if there was another person. But I do like how the canopy velcros right to the corners. Now this next part is going to be kind of tricky, especially if you're a giraffe like me. I've got to crawl under the cabana and push up the center until the hub connects. This turned out to be a chore because I did a lousy job pulling out the frame. Well, for me, this is as awkward as it gets for setting up a beach cabana, but I finally got it together. This part got a lot easier the second time around because I did a better job expanding the frame. Now, if I'm gonna shade anything taller than a guinea pig, I need to extend these legs. There are three telescopic leg heights, which is cool. The directions tell us to gently pull the legs stage by stage until the spring button pops into position. The legs would usually cooperate, but one leg did give me a little attitude. Hey, if you find this video helpful so far, please hit that thumbs up button and share this video with a beach buddy. This will make me feel a whole lot better when I'm living on Chef Boy RD for the next month. Now, there are many other portable beach cabanas like this one, but I chose the Easy Fast Cabana because it has leg fabric with weight pockets, which is ideal for the beach. Now I'm going to clump together the Quippy and the Easy Go because you set them up the same exact way. And this is because they're virtually the same exact beach cabana, which we'll get into in just a little bit. Now to set it up, you want to take this metal pole and screw it into the sand until you reach the sand line. Then hold the cabana upside down and then start to open it by pushing the runner up the pole until it locks. Then connect the cabana to the pole and secure them into place by turning this knob. Now the only thing left to do is fill up the sand pouches. Whenever one of my beach cabanas gets one of these Elvis shaky leg things going on, I just lift up the anchor pouch and dig down underneath it until there's enough tension to calm it down. Okay, overall, pretty easy, right? But what if it's a breezy day? Based on my experience, I wouldn't recommend using these two beach cabanas if it's really windy because they're top heavy and the Uggers don't do a great job supporting the weight. To give you an idea about what I'm talking about, here's the Easy Go base compared with the Sobello Shade base. And the Sobello Shade is made to hold up against the wind. Let me know down in the comments which one you would trust more on a breezy day. Now, what are you going to do if it's breezy and all you have is an Easy Go or a Quippy Beach Cabana? I mean, you need shade, right? Well, I would recommend you have a beach buddy hold the center pole when you fill up the anchor pockets. So this doesn't happen to you. And this right here is why I had to buy a second Easy Go Beach Cabana so I could finish this review. Out of the four beach cabanas in this review video, the Cool Cabana takes me less time to set up. All you gotta do is insert the sand spike into the pole, tap it down until you hit that sand line, and then place the Cool Cabana on the center pole. Then extend the arms and fill up the anchor pockets. Oh, by the way, I'll have affiliate links down in the description if you wanna buy any one of these beach cabanas. Now, it doesn't look all that tough on the outside, but the cool cabana is held together with some pretty rugged hardware. I like how the fiberglass arms rest on the joints and connect to the thick plastic hub. The Quippy and the Easy Go also have thick fiberglass rods, but the hubs are made of small plastic parts held together with wire, which is common for many beach umbrellas. And then we have 
the Easy Fast Cabana. Compared with the other three, this guy is in a league all of its own with its many thin aluminum parts. It does take a lot longer to set up, but there's no center pole which is nice. It's also six feet by six feet, but what I'm really excited about is that all six foot five of me can stand up completely straight underneath it. Captain Marty helped me measure the Quippy and the Easy Go, which are also six feet by six feet, and the Medium Cool Cabana is actually a little bigger at six and a half feet by six and a half feet, but it's not tall enough for me to stand up underneath it. Now these beach cabanas provide great shade when the sun is directly overhead, but what are we gonna do later in the day when the sun dips down. Well, the Easy Fast has an attached side wall that can be rolled up and rolled down. The Quippy and the Easy Go Cabanas each have one removable shade wall that attaches to the top rods. The Cool Cabana, on the other hand, which is the priciest of the four, has no side wall for shade. And all I have to say is, what's up with that? Now, I'm sure you've noticed that the Easy Go Cabana has the most elaborate vent on top, which looks fancy, but I don't think it's necessary for airflow. These simple vents on top of the Cool Cabana and the Quippy seem to be enough. But the question that I had is will these vents leak if it starts to rain? To find out, I gave the Easy Go and the Quippy a quick mist test, and the vents didn't leak, keeping my nephew nice and dry underneath both of them. Well, he stayed mostly dry. The Easy Fast doesn't have a vent on top, but it does have this mesh valance, I think that's what you call it, that actually holds the base of the canopy cover together. Now, from what you've seen in this video so far, which of these beach shades do you like the best? Despite the fact that it doesn't come with a sidewall for shade, I'm gonna go with a cool cabana. I like how it's easy to set up, it's also easy to take down, and it's really well made. I just think it's perfect for the beach. Both the Easy Go and the Quippy are also easy to pack down, and the Easy Fast takes a bit more time and effort. The Easy Fast is also the heaviest when it's bagged up, weighing just over 18 pounds. The Medium Cool Cabana is the second heaviest, weighing just over 13 pounds. Both the Quippy and the Easy Go weigh about 10 pounds when they're packed up and are about 59 inches long. Oh, by the way, the last time I packed up the Easy Go Beach Cabana, the zipper on the carrying bag malfunctioned on me. Now watch this video to see how the Medium Cool Cabana measures up against its bigger brother, and I hope you take it easy at the beach.